needs a whole movie library when you can watch a little bit of every genre right here in one movie? Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. As part of my coverage of the 2023 Sundance Film Festival, today I'm going to be talking about the 2023 action comedy, Polite Society, which will be released in UK cinemas on April 7th and US theaters on April 28th. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for a variety of movie-related content like reviews, rank lists, and trailer reactions. All my reviews include a breakdown of the pros and cons, my rating, and some tailored film recommendations, so be sure to watch through to the end of this video for all of that extra content. Polite Society stars Priya Kansara, Ritu Arya, and Nimra Bucha, and is the feature directorial debut of Nita Manzor. It tells the story of teenage aspiring stuntwoman Rhea Khan as she tries to stop her older sister's wedding. I think it's safe to say that we're in the era of wild, energetic, genre-bending filmmaking right now or at least the era in which those types of movies actually get seen by mainstream audiences. Polite Society is an exuberantly fun and wild ride through a mashup of different genres. It's energetic and hyper-stylized from the get-go, and rarely lets up with its frenetic pace and style. The maximalist tendencies do threaten to overwhelm, but as long as you sorta know what you're getting yourself into, it's an immensely fun ride. I saw quite a few films at Sundance this year, and this was easily the most entertaining. It also cracked my top three of the festival, so I'm really glad this chaotic gem is getting a theatrical release. Polite Society begins with a simple enough premise. It's got plenty of exuberant stylization and martial arts thrown on top, but it starts off as a tale of two sisters, quite literally with the on-screen titles. This sisterhood story remains at the core of the film throughout its runtime, driving the emotional elements of the story as well as the plot. As the story gets underway, the familiarity of the central conflict may lull you into thinking this is just any other predictable teen movie, but I can promise you that this story goes directions you will never expect. The outrageous unpredictability of certain aspects of the story will certainly bother some people, but I think if you're on board with the film's style early on, you'll have no problem going along with whatever this movie throws at you. I've said it before, but this film truly is a ride, and it lets you know right away what kind of fun and absurd ride it's gonna be. We've seen lots of genre blending in recent films, but the genre mashup on display here is next level kind of stuff. This movie mixes comedy, surprisingly good action, and family drama while working its way through and paying entertaining homage to a variety of other subgenres. It's a wuxia-inspired martial arts film, it's a social thriller, it's a heist movie, it's got a little espionage, a little horror, a little sci-fi, and even some Bollywood inspiration thrown in there too. The genre-jumping, kinetic style, and sheer energy on display here will garner much of the attention, but this film also boasts some strong performances. Priya Kansara is fantastic in her film debut. This movie features a lot of characters, but everything hinges on her character, Rhea. She's the driving force of this film, and the only character that's involved with every single one of the different genres. So a lot was riding on her shoulders here, but Kansara was certainly up to the task. Also of note was Ritu Arya, who plays Rhea's older sister, Lena. Despite the wildness of this film, she has to play this character a bit more subdued than Kansara gets to, but Arya still gets in on some of the more absurd genre fun. And last but not least, I have to mention Nimra Bucha's performance. I can't say anything too specific here, but she is very memorable, and certainly looks like she's having a blast with all that the genre mashup allows. Polite Society is one ridiculously entertaining and chaotic movie. The maximalist style can be a bit overwhelming, and that does affect the pacing some by making parts of the story feel a bit disjointed, but it's also a fun and creative adventure, all from the perspective of our main character. Most people will either love the style or hate it, but regardless of the energetic and wild presentation, at its core, this is still a movie about two sisters, and as ridiculous as the rest of the film may get, it remains relatable and sincere thanks to its wonderful story of sisterhood and thematic throughline of following one's passions. Alright, let's talk about the pros and cons. 
Pro number one is the energy. This is a wild, frenetic ride that showcases its energy right from the opening and never backs off. It puts its maximalist style right in your face and doesn't give you all that much time to breathe, but it's certainly fun. The propulsiveness of this energy is a big driving force of the film, and it's very much in line with its other creative and, at times, out there stylistic elements. Speaking of which, pro number two has got to be the genre mashup. Blending two or more genres together is nothing new in film, but few movies have the gall to smash together as many wide-ranging genres and styles as we see here. There's action, there's comedy, there's coming-of-age teen and family drama, it's a martial arts movie, it's an espionage thriller, it's a heist movie, there's some horror, there's a thrilling criminal plot, there are even some Bollywood elements. All of these things mash together in the plot, as well as the style, making for a fantastical, homage-laden film that's highly entertaining. Pro number three is the performances. With such a wild movie, it would be easy to lean so far into the absurdity that the characters become a secondary or tertiary component of the film. And maybe that was even still a possibility with the current script, but certainly not once the actors were involved. The key performances here were great, with all of the actors being able to match the energy and chaotic demands of the film's style, while still retaining a sense of grounded relatability. There were a lot of good performances, but the standouts for me were definitely Nimra Bucha as Salim's mother, Rahila, Richu Arya as Lena, and Priya Kansara in the, her film debut as Lena's younger sister, Rhea. On the con side, the biggest issue was the inconsistent pacing. If you can't get on board with the film's chaotic style, then you'd probably move my second pro down here to the con side as well, but for me, it was mostly just the periodically dragging pace of the second half of the film that hurts this one. It's still an energetic ride throughout, but there are a few story lulls, especially between genre shifts or right after big reveals and plot beats, that slow the pace down and make this movie feel a little bit longer than it actually is. Before I give you my rating and recommendations, I want to remind you that if you're interested in buying Polite Society or any of the other films I mentioned today, I do have affiliate links for all of them in the description below. I get a small commission from anything you buy using one of my links, so I'd really appreciate it if you use them if you're in the market for any of these movies. I'm gonna give Polite Society 4 out of 5 paws. It's an incredibly fun mashup of just about every genre you can think of. There are some minor issues that hold it back some, but the strong performances, frenetic style, and exuberant action comedy will have you cheering for the fury. I would recommend Polite Society to people who like heavy stylization and genre bending within their films. This is a movie that leaves true reality at the theater door, instead treating audiences to an entertaining and fantastical story of heightened reality. It's a wild movie that leans into its various genre tropes and a rambunctious, in-your-face style with everything from its frequent on-screen titles to its over-the-top action. If you can get on board with the controlled chaos, you'll be in for a fun ride. And if you can't, well, then this will probably be an eye-rollingly ridiculous experience for you. If you liked Polite Society, I would recommend Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. This is another genre-mixing film that takes a simple, relatable premise, but blows it up into a colorful, hyper-stylized, heightened reality. Much like Polite Society, this is an extremely high-energy, often frenetic film thoroughly imbued with the director's style. If you like the controlled chaos and genre shifting here, you should check out Everything Everywhere all at once. This multiversal story is definitely a bit different, but it's another family-based tale that just takes you along for the ride, if you let it. And maybe you just want another recent, very British film with kinetic editing and a fun, playful storytelling style. Rye Lane may be a cute romantic comedy, but it's also another movie that uses its unique style to great effect in order to tell its story and make you care about its characters. All right, a couple questions for you guys. Number one, have you seen Polite Society? If so, what'd you think of it? And number two, what's your favorite movie about sisters? Be sure to leave your answers in the comments below so we can get discussion going. All right, so if you got some enjoyment, insight, or information on this review, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe if you're at it to see more videos like this. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies, the way life should be.